Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. And I'm Rush. And today, we are going to be watching The Dark Knight. Um, so I have obviously seen this movie, in my opinion, is one of the best superhero movies of all time. You, we could argue about the greatest, but I don't want to overhype it for well, you. Definitely one of the best. Oh. Um, we watched Batman Begins, we watched Tenet, we're, start, we're getting into our Nolan binge, um, building up some hype for the new Batman movie. What what uh, thoughts, ideas, theories? We got that kind of Joker tease going into this movie. You said you've maybe seen a little bit of this movie or like the Joker in this I, movie? I remember seeing a little scene or something of like, you know, the Joker and okay. Batman or something. I, yeah. I don't even remember what it was about, but okay. I just thought like, oh, you know, I th forgot what it was. It was like a um, a dissection of like the, the scene oh, okay. or something okay. like okay. that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but honestly as far as like theories stuff like that i i have no idea i've heard that this uh like version of the joker is like supposed to be like really good or something yes yes okay so it's one of the big versions of the i am excited because i i really like the idea of like the joker character even though i haven't yeah. seen much of him yeah um, and i mean you already see how nolan takes everything so seriously like seeing mm -hmm. how nolan deals with the idea of batman oh yeah i want to see like that nolan you know, version. Yeah. yeah for sure. So uh, I'm super, super, super excited about this. We also have even seen other Heath Ledger movies, which I feel like makes this movie better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Like, we've seen 10 Things I Hate About You. So you are in the shoes of the people going into this movie being like, excuse me, what? This guy is Joker. For sure. Um, also, I mean, we'll talk probably more about it at the end, but I just want to say rest in peace um, for Heath Ledger. Yeah. Because it's really sad. Like, actually, it's, it's just a really sad thing. And it stinks that he was never able to see this movie um, yeah. after giving this performance. That, that's so tragic. Um, but I, I most likely will talk about this later. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. As always, uh, the full-length reaction is going to be up on our Patreon. Next week's reaction, The Dark Knight Rises, is going to be up on our Patreon. We're doing a bit of a Nolan binge, so if you're not like a superhero fan, don't worry. We're watching more Nolan, Prestige, uh, Memento, all that sorts of stuff. And yeah, um, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Um, if you feel like checking out the Patreon and want to support us, that would be awesome. You really don't have to, though. Thank you just for being here. Thank you for watching. And let's just get into The Dark Knight. Just like a gang of people, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some sort of... Doing some sort of, like... Clown gang something. Seems like some sort of, like, heist or something. Yeah. It reminds me of, uh, Payday a little bit. The uh, video game. Dude, that's so savage. He puts a grenade in the guy's hand. I killed a bus driver. <laughs> what bus driver? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Look at you. What do you believe in, huh? Wait. <laughs> Whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you. <laughs> He's. <laughs> oh, dude, that was that was cool. <laughs> Is that a? a, a Is this like a smoke? gas bomb or something? I don't know. Yeah. Dang. Hey, good luck catching him. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty clean. Ooh. That's such a great intro. That was really cool. So the only version of Joker you've seen is the one in The Dark Knight Returns and the Jared Leto Joker. Is that just to throw that out there. I'm Jared just Leto was the one in... In um, the Snyderverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I told you my compound would take you places. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there's only one of you. Okay, bro. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, he's using like... No. Guns? And yeah. Stuff. That's not him. Yeah, dude. Okay, that's him. No one else yeah. has that. <laughs> Whoa. I like how, like, it's brutal. Oh! oh. <laughs> that was awesome! What's the difference between you and me? I'm not wearing hockey pants. <laughs> But that's I, right. Well, that seriously asked what's the difference. Like, <laughs> let me uh, let me pull out the <laughs> list. Like, yeah. the coolest Batcave, and they built what all the of that. Really? Yes. Yeah, but you gotta know. There's always gonna be those people. Yeah, like you yeah. can't, especially in this type of place, like Gotham. I'm sorry. Okay, so they recast Rachel, the girl. Oh, okay. That that is her. Though. Just okay, just so you know, gotcha. I, I forgot to tell you that. Okay. Yeah, the yeah. symbol doesn't have limits. Okay. This is our new DA. Gotcha. Hostile? I show you hostile. 
Wait, what? Wait, what the heck? If you want to kill a public servant, Mr. Maroney, I recommend you buy American. He's putting on a show, <laughs> bro. Like, I'm fine, by the way. <laughs> Okay, I'm interested in this new... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> he seems trustworthy so well, far. Well, DA's weird. Like, I actually didn't even realize the first time I watched this movie because it's almost like a political position as well as... Yeah, the cow's Ooh. a little awkward. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And I had to tell him I worked for the government. <laughs> He straight up is like a Hollywood movie star, though. Like, with the <laughs> hair and, like, oh, yeah, I yeah, punched the guy. Told him I work for the government. So, let's put a couple tables together. I'm not sure that they'll let us. Oh, they should. I own the place. <laughs> 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 Just flexing. Oh, gosh. To a point at the bad man. We did. <laughs> All of us who stood by and let scum take control of our city. Yeah. Yeah. But doing nothing, you guys. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like he's baiting him though. Like he wants to hear what he thinks. Yeah, of course. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I've heard that before. Yeah. One fundraiser with my pals. You'll never need another cent. <laughs> hey, yeah, he. All right. That's cool because he, you know, he's got connections, dude. He's, he's Bruce Wayne. Ooh. <laughs> How about a magic trick? Okay, so they don't <laughs> they don't know him? It looks like. Oh, dude. We uh, kill the Batman. Here's my card. <laughs> so that's the Joker. <laughs> that is really cool. I'll talk more about it after. No, of I course. Wanna, I want to pay attention a little bit, but. Oh, yeah, Gordon. I almost had your rookie cold on a racketeering beat. Don't try and cloud the fact that clearly Maroney's got people in your office, Dent. Might be right. Yeah. <laughs> Get used to it. I dude. like how he keeps doing it. You know, yeah, I, like, I like it's, that. It's not just a joke. He literally does it's, it every it's scene. Just a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> you know, just high altitude jumps. What is he gonna do? Like freaking <laughs> Halo in or something? It'll be lighter, faster, more agile. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Whoa! That could have been the end. <laughs> of course, bro. Oh, dude, he's got to keep up the persona. Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> bro. They say they've just killed the Joker. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> this guy is <laughs> such an idiot. <laughs> what we're gonna have tryouts. <laughs> oh snap. Make it fast. <laughs> Dude, it's like the most sadistic Yo. Just moment. Just like, the scenes are not even that long, but it's like you can you can really feel like everything in him. Yes. It's insane. Dude, his acting. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. Wow. Reports of response time. <laughs> Sonar. Just like the uh, submarine, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wayne. Good luck. Dude, Fox is such a homie. Dude. I don't know if he's as big of a character in the comics or anything, but in these movies, he's he's literally like right there with Alfred. Oh yeah, which is sure. so great. That's it's cool to see. There's like a little team behind that. Yeah, right? it's it's cool. <laughs> Dude. Also, something about this movie, and I know most people can't tell, but I can tell the difference between a drone shot and a helicopter shot, and the helicopter shots make it seem so much more cinematic. <laughs> Dude, the aim. Oh, I have snap. no idea how he did these stunts. You're going to be the one to take down Batman, Mr. Lau, for sure. She is so cool. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Dude, it's so cool. But it, like, it feels so real. Like, it's like this it Nolan, does. like, comic book. <laughs> Batman does good work. Yeah. Didn't even have to pay for shipping. Well, dude, you can't send him to county. Yeah. I don't trust him here. What happened to debt all being about trust? You know what I mean? Are you up to it? You better be. Because they get anything on you. <laughs> this movie is nonstop, man. Dang. Uh oh. It's not him, but. No. Yeah. It was one of the, I think it's one of the guys from the beginning, actually. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> People will die. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, the Joker is making moves now. Also, I love the little detail that in the, the footage that he's filming, you can hear the mic shaking. Like, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. I'm like, dude. These psychotic ex-boyfriends I should be aware of? Oh, no, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just the, just the one, really. <laughs> Hey, I mean, he's doing. He's with three girls. He's keeping up the <laughs> that persona pretty well. To Harvey Dent, let's hear it for him. Yeah, I like how he's a little real. Yeah. That day that you once told me about, but Gotham would no longer be Batman. It's comics. You can't ask me to wait for that. Feels a little rushed because you know, of course, he wants to be with Rachel. Of course. But like, I actually don't know how long this is from Batman Begins, but I'm sure it's wearing on him too, you know? Of course. I'm just saying, like... <sighs> Take the envelope, get in, open it, it'll tell you where you're headed. Uh-oh. I don't know, I don't trust those people. Uh-oh. Yeah. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Dang. <laughs> He's so good at this. It's interesting to see him, like, not in a suit, <laughs> like, doing it. Okay, stop. Oh. <sighs> the camera work. Look Is it the scars? You want to know how I got them? So I had a wife. Beautiful. <laughs> like you. Who tells me I ought to smile more? So, I stick a razor in my mouth and do this. She can't stand the sight of me. She leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Little fight now. I like that. And you're gonna love me. <laughs> oh, <it's that. laughs> Yo. <Yes>. Oh. <laughs> it throws the guy in front of him. I like that. <laughs> Shit. Let her go. Oh no. Yeah. Go, be <laughs> go, go. go. You notice the scar thing, right? With like the different stories. Yeah. Perhaps this is a man you don't fully understand either. I agree. I feel like yeah. he's making him more simple than he is. Well, because he's never experienced this. Yeah. Some men aren't looking for anything logical. Yeah. yeah. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Yeah. It's true. And how do you deal with that? That's why I feel like uh, that's why Joker is very dangerous. Because he, get, he gets a kick out of it. You could tell he gets a kick out of it. Well, not just. It's like there's no... He's not abiding by any sort of like... You know, there's no motive. There's no, you know, rules or morals that he follows. Yeah. He's literally just like, you know, that sort of like chaotic evil. Yeah. I need 10 minutes for the scene before you've been contaminated. Us contaminated? It's because of you these guys hey, are dead. Like Dude. Yeah. Back off, bro. Come on, like freaking Batman? I'm not gonna lie. Yes. Batman does work. Thank you, <laughs> wow, really? Uh, some <laughs> testing. Let's see. <laughs> it's so cool. Not sure you made it loud enough, <laughs> I like seeing the detective side of Batman. Yeah. It's really cool. Don't tell me you didn't recognize your baby out there and kicking cop cars. Uh oh. I want ten million dollars a year for the rest of my life. Shh. It's like just added to the list of stuff, bro. Secretly a vigilante, and your plan is to black 
See, but Fox is so legendary. That's like the difference in like those types of like bad guys. Yeah, or yeah, whatnot. yeah. You know, he's not a bad, bad guy. Whatever. No, 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 yeah. But like compared to the Joker, right? Yeah. This is really cool. And they do have yeah, they is. do have some backup and stuff. They do. Yeah, but they're the doing their is, best. The way that he plays, it's like you can't physically protect him. That's like, true. He's not. Well, like, he did threaten the mayor. Still. There's a lot of windows up here. Yeah, like, how are you going to do it? Yeah. I do respect, like, Gotham for standing up, though. No, like, the yeah. The fact that no, they're no. still doing this I parade, agree. threat, everything. I agree. Shoot. Who was that? It's probably some of the guards. Yeah. Shoot. Shoot! The time. Whoa, he knew. Oh, dang. Because no one knows his face. No, but I'm saying Gordon. He took it. He took the bullet. That's crazy that he predicted it. Is he gone? Tell me what you know about the Joker. <sighs> Rachel, Rachel, listen to me. You're not safe there. Oh, this is Gordon. No. No. It, no. The Joker's named you next. There's someone or anyone in this town we can trust. Grace? Yes. Yeah. I'm this late. Paul wouldn't kill me. I'm on it. Yeah, I don't think he wants to kill you, bro. Break your legs. Exactly. <sighs> Harvey. Yeah, I think I will. That's why I'm not gonna leave it up to me. Uh oh. You leave a man's life to chance. <laughs> All the criminals you pulled off the streets will be released. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a little, a little course. interesting because we get a little more insight to. You can't get it! Dude, um, I mean, I don't know. It's it's so hard. The way he was kind of like acting there, it's like in order to stop the the Joker, that is definitely yeah, a path, right? Of course. It's a little scary though, right? Um, you can lose yourself to that. Of course. Yeah, but is he doing that, or is is Bruce doing that? Okay, but then. It's a mob. Take the Batman into custody. I'm the Batman. What? <laughs> He's not being the hero. He's being something more. He's not being the celebrity hero. Yeah, a true hero. Yes. I feel like it's because Dent and Bruce deeply understand that the Batman can't go down. You well, know? Also, he was gonna go. Dent just pulled an audible. You could I tell. I think Dent, you know, made him realize that, like... Of course. There's, this is something that needs to be, like... And he was saying that you want me to be the White Knight, but it's like, we need you. It's true. What about all the people who are depending on you to clean the city up and to do it honorably? It's over now. You can't. Yeah, of course. You can't. No, okay, but this is dangerous, too. Heads, I go through with it. This is your life. You can't leave something like that to chance. I'm not. <laughs> Which I think does lend a little bit of light to him being with the, like... Like, he was pissed at That's that guy, true. but he was never going to kill him. That's true. It's a fire truck on fire. <laughs> Without the Batman. Oh, what's happening? Yeah, they should have had more backup if they think this is Batman. Uh, this is showing, like, can you hand, even handle the Joker by yourself, no. right? Oh. Dude. Just keep in mind, too, all this stuff is practical. <laughs> this is crazy. I, you can tell, too. Like, oh, yeah. The way that the things like, yes. feel, like, very realistic. <laughs> Slaughter. I mean, oh, frick, dude. I mean, you say you didn't sign up for this, but you guys took down the Batman. Like, come on. <laughs> Finally. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Get out of here. I think that's one of the coolest suits just like... <laughs> that was crazy. I did not expect that. What is going on? <laughs> Wait, what? You know. Okay. <laughs> he has like a motorcycle now, I guess. Oh yeah. Okay, but does it have weapons? I don't think so. <laughs> Dude, I like the look of it. Well, because he has a bat. He has a bike in the comics too. Like he has all these different. Oh gadgets. really? I didn't yeah, know yeah, that. yeah. That's crazy. 
Dude, I love the sound effects. <laughs> the kids. Whoa, bro, stop doing that. Stop. We're actually... <laughs> I used to do that, too. Whoa, did they build that, too? Yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah, That's dude. so cool. I mean, look at it. There's no way they could yeah, be doing this. I mean, you could, like, with really good, like, CG, but, I mean, that's so cool if they actually did that. That's so cool. <laughs> what the heck? That was sick! The way the <laughs> wheels were, like, rolling. Oh. What? Is he gonna, like... <laughs> oh, no, he didn't! <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're gonna flip. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Just gonna stop for a second and say they actually did that, and we're gonna go back to the movie. <laughs> Dude. Uh -oh. Dude, he is not going to. And he wants him to. He's not going to. Oh, shoot. He thought about it. Could you please just give me a minute? We got you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what? what? The driver no. of the truck was had his face covered the whole time? Whoa! <laughs> 40 chest food, bro! Wait, actually, we're kind of clean! Tomorrow you take the big job. You don't want to say the matter, Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> hey. I mean, he deserves it. Like, not gonna Dude, lie, like, did you see the work he did? I mean... Between this movie and the last movie? I mean... If you were, like, a citizen of, like, Gotham, and you're, like, you know, your police force did that, I'd, I'd be like, like, dude, sign make a president, bro. <laughs> like, Wait a second. That's crazy. <laughs> He's like, I don't believe that. <laughs> He's like, okay, Dad. <laughs> sure. Like, Come on, Dad. <laughs> Come on. He's the Batman. The lighting. I like how his suit's dark, but like because his face is yeah, like Yeah, the paint, you can yeah. see it lit up. The good cop, bad cop routine. Not exactly. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! You wanted me. Here I am. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. <laughs> Oh no, bro. You have to choose. He's at 250 52nd Street. And she And she he can't save them both. No. <laughs> it's uh, We can't get a win, man. Why is he in the room? That's what I was like, gonna go say. out of the room. Okay, but you can't show him. Please. Yeah. My insides hurt. Dude, I knew it. This, there's something yeah. like he has like he has like a bomb or something in him. Yeah. Gosh. Hey, listen to me. Help. Just talk me. Talk me through what's going on with you. What if he knows that they that Batman wants to save her, right? Because if when she yeah she was thrown off the roof. <sighs> I mean, look, the cops might do it. I'm just wondering if he is playing games. You can't save her, all of them. Little oh, dude, he's so little good. Little. I hate it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Shoot. He's got some kind of a contusion. Uh, yeah, uh, clear. Not away. a contusion. <laughs> Idiot. I just want my phone call. <laughs> What's happening? Shoot. If I'm gonna call, gonna trigger the the bomb, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. It's not a freaking contusion. Just in case, I want to tell you something, okay? Don't think like that, Rachel. They're coming for you. I know they are, but I don't want them to. Dude, this does not look like the play. Go. They're both there. Go. No, bro. <laughs> My answer is yes. Oh my no. gosh, they f- No, not me! Rachel! Rachel! Alright, listen. Some- Rachel! Oh 
Well, shoot. Because yeah, he was like, in the oil. He was in the oil. I don't think so. Dang. <sighs> yeah, I mean it's it's just horrible in every way. Oh man. Oh no, bro. Sawyer. Why would you listen to me now? What, what do you mean? No. Dang. Oh my gosh, bro. It's crazy. It's too much. You should have thought about that before you left Quanin out of the box. You want him? I, I wouldn't trust this guy. Yeah. I would never trust yeah, them after on. that. Like, dude. It's like, you can never trust We any can't of even these trust guys. our own cops. All tactical units will converge on the location in 20 minutes. Oh, maybe he is. I don't even remember, to be honest. I mean, maybe, because, you know, yeah. he has a little bit of a motive. I'm only ruining my half. <laughs> All you care about is money. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. <laughs> Everything burns. That shot. Like, like that's a movie meets... Oh my. That's why you don't wow. get into this, dude. See, and this is a problem with that yes. type of villain, right? Well, of it's course. Like... <laughs> he doesn't care about getting Batman's identity, I don't think. I think he's curious, but it's it's about the game. Also, it's just like he there's no rules he follows. And so yeah. anything's on the table. Leave him alone, the stupid press, bro. It's so horrible because you're turning the populace against it, right? And it's like, but it's like there's nothing you can do. Of course, but it's everybody's a killer now. I wonder if he wants to get to uh, Harvey or something. Man, we're gonna have to move him now. <laughs> look, look at your phone, quicker. I was sitting in Gordon's cage. I didn't rape those charges. Your man, your plan. Yeah, dude. What are you? Uh, Where a truckload of soldiers will be blowing up, nobody panics because it's all part of the plan. But when yeah. One little old man will die. Well, then everyone loses their minds. <laughs> I'm an agent of chaos. <laughs> oh, and you know the thing about chaos? It's fair. If you die. <laughs> 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 the sanitizer. Oh my gosh. Go, everybody go. But it's almost like that is the fact that he's willing to do it, right? He of does course. it. But it's kind of like a cover up a little bit for what he really wants to do. Some more than go off. <laughs> 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 now, if I'm not mistaken, he wasn't supposed to do that. Like, he just stopped and went with it and waited for the second explosion. <laughs> really? Cool. <sighs> the way it, like, drifts out his mouth. That's funny. Because I don't know what's going to happen to you either. <sighs> this is wrong. Spying on 30 million people this isn't part of my job. <laughs> I like how he stands up to him. Yeah. The Joker's just a mad dog. I wonder who ever let him off the leash. That's true. You're a lucky man. He's not. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're dead anyways, looks like. You driver. <laughs> <laughs> the second movie in the series is always the worst. It's just like nothing good is happening. So they stopped their engines. Right. Yeah, I feel like this is so, a little bit like dangerous to do, man. Fox, there's something going on on the ferries. Yeah, go, go, look, 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 look. I mean, you got all of them in one place now. Do they have to <laughs> yeah, make a choice? <laughs> Tonight you're all going to be a part of a social experiment. You better make sure that those bombs, it's got to stay in your hands. You better get up to like yeah. the Surround freaking bridge. Yourself. Because the people are going to attack you, like the criminals? Yes. Or the regular people, anybody. At midnight, I 
I blow you all up. If, however, one of you presses the button, I'll let that boat live. And you might want to decide quickly because the people on the other boat may not be quite so noble. That's the other thing. Yeah. You don't know if you could trust them, right? Like, that's the other fear. Well, I mean, how do you trust them? Of course. Them? You, and there's no point to trusting them, to be honest, because they're both going to die. Let's put it to a vote. Dude, I would never. It's like, I think you got to wait it out till at least right before midnight. Yeah, I mean, just realistically speaking, though, it's like, yeah. what are you going to do? Let the kids die on the other boat? We have clear shots on five clouds. Snipers take them out. Smack There's a reason, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. You think anything is obvious? Let's do it. It's not that simple. Well, the Joker never is. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Support your folks on this piece of paper. I'm actually surprised at how... You know, civil they're being. Yeah, I mean, we got the military here, so Let's that helps. Whoa. Looks like the comic books. Yeah. That looks so cool. That's a lot of people. We gotta move quick. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. That's why. Of course. They can't. <laughs> it's so awesome. <laughs> we start like recognizing the gadgets. Yeah. We're still here. That means they haven't killed us yet either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Try and aim your orbs down. Do something. Yeah, Look less like, threatening. Get down yes. or something. Well, you made it. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> I like how he plays dirty. No, yeah, because he, cause he's not he's not the physical fighter. Well, because he has no rules. Of course. Right? And so he can be that sort of like weaker. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to Yeah. Come on. I'll do it. Those men on that boat, they made their choices. They chose to murder and steal. It doesn't make any sense for us to have to die too. I mean, yeah, dude, I, get, I mean, keep I telling really yourself do. that. I mean, I get it. I 100% get it. Give it to me. And I'll do what you should have did 10 minutes ago. I want to see what his choice is. Yeah. 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 Now it's not a choice. And that's the plan. You wouldn't dare try to justify yourself if you knew what I'd lost. You lost one. Like, okay, but like. Like, it's horrible, but. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we see that. Go, go. The chance you give us of fixing our city dies with Harvey's reputation. Yeah. So, see what I mean? <laughs> Not gonna lie. Once again, riding off the high of right, yeah, right but, after watching the movie. Sure. But I think that might be my favorite hero movie. Dude, it's like one of my favorite movies. I don't care superhero or no. That was, that was, that was beautifully done. And just the, the end, like, it's just the little things. He doesn't give us the title card. And then he gives us our title card. It's like, Nolan, you you genius. There's so... <laughs> I'm, 
I always thought about that question of like, um, you know, when there's a choice. Yeah. What, you know, what do you do? You know. Uh huh. And it's cool to kind of see that explored in so many different ways, and yeah. I love that. It's not just like like even if the movie was just Batman versus Joker. Like, that'd be great. But then Nolan does the stuff like the ship. Like, just all these different kind of things that that add to it and really make it this just, like, full masterpiece, really. No, yeah. And, yeah, I mean... What did you think of Harvey Dent? I... Did you reckon... Because we've only seen Two-Face in, like, one thing, so I wasn't sure if you knew that was coming or not. I don't even remember Two Face. Okay, to it was be in like honest. one of the small animations. Oh, was he, it? Or he was off to the side. He wasn't a big character. Okay, so he's like a villain of the comics with the coin flip and everything. I like think that. I've like yeah, I like heard something about that, yeah. but I completely didn't re- like really recognize. I don't know Harvey Dent or whatnot, which makes it so much better. That's interesting, and it's cool to see him do that, the coin flip sort of thing but it was both heads in the beginning yeah but then like you know he faked like okay you know whatever i'm making a 50 50 choice but it really wasn't until you know when rachel died and then it was like no not only was he like kind of making it 50 50 he was kind of going more the other way it was like i'm gonna make it like what I want almost, you know? Yeah. Like he says it's like 50 50, but it's like, it's really not. And it kind of like, I don't know, it matches his name, right? The sort of yeah, like two face. Yeah. Sort of yeah. like, you know, personality. It's it's interesting. I, I really liked him. He's such a good. A, the actor was amazing. Um, no, of course. The, the, actor like, the was acting amazing. is this whole movie. It's just incredible on, on every front. But it's such a fascinating character study. It's, it's fascinating. Yeah, because he, he definitely was, like, this is the thing, though, is he fell very yeah. hard. Of course. And so it's, I feel like there was that sort of weakness. Of course, but there's the parallel between him and Batman, which is the, you know, the beauty of it, right? Yeah, whereas, I mean, both of them were very good in the beginning, but I think um, Batman had almost, like, stronger a stronger resolve to do yeah. what a hero would do, right? Here's, Truly. Here's the question, though. Um, like, like, Alfred burned the letter. Yeah. I'm just, you know what I mean? Like, I, I obviously, we can't be like, well, I think he would have not, he would have killed him. But that's also interesting, too, where it's like, he had stronger resolve, but he also didn't have all the information. Um, no, yeah. Which is just kind of an interesting... Uh, almost, it's it's fascinating that he could get, like, an Alfred arc in this movie. Like, I think it's such an interesting... Well, I mean, essentially... Like, Alfred, it shows that he cares. Essentially, Alfred is doing what he is doing. Yeah, what yeah he Bruce is. is doing. Of right? course. Yeah. Because it's, you know, it's almost like Bruce, like, of course you want to be honest and truthful, but you got to also look at, you know, the consequences of that. And he's willing to take the fall for that. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, it's interesting. You it's know? so cool. Um, I, I, I never realized the poetry of like, you know, you either are a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Obviously that applies to Harvey, but then the deeper application to like Bruce, I don't know, that was just really cool. Where it's, it's almost a commentary on public perception as well. Yeah. Um, which is like the Joker was saying, and I, I don't know if he's quite wrong. Where it's like, they don't view you. Like, Gordon may view him as... I think Gordon views him as a friend, especially after this, right? No, yeah. But, like, the cops, the people, the populace, they don't... You are just a freak, just like the Joker. And and you are no better or worse to them than the Joker. And so, in the end, they might turn on you. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's completely right. I mean, because there's always, like, there's, you know... It's very complicated, right? Of course. 
remember, there's going to be people who will, you know, who will be naysayers no matter sure. what. Sure. Right. And there's going to be people but there's who also, go along with whoever, no matter what yeah. as well. <laughs> and there's also people who genuinely, I, like, you know, of course we say that Gordon is, like, you know, probably one of the only people. Well, I mean, not one. Okay. There's a few people that but believe in him, but I know. I'm certain that, you know, the people that he personally saves at times are never going to forget that. You yeah. know, you can't kind of push that aside. No, no. And I feel like another thing is that um, the Joker was also wrong. Uh, yeah, he was the end, about And the they people. said that, you know, the Joker had won. In a way, he kind of won. He did, uh, he was able to pull Harvey kind of down, right? But I feel like it wasn't a complete win because Gotham is the people. You well, know? And, and here's the thing, right? Like, and like, like any good movie, it doesn't just actually preach message. Like, the best movies just make you think, which is of why course. I love it. Yeah. Um, but the idea that that just like with that conflict, just like Batman created a Joker, right? With that that new force, you get a new counter. Mm-hmm. With the Joker, you also get a counter. So, like with yeah. the people who are willing to kill the you know the guy who was going to expose Batman and all these different kind of people. There are the people like the prisoners on the boat, like all these people who are willing to rise above yeah. um, and do what's right. And so then with Batman, it's like he didn't win because he dared the people. And you did have the debt. Debt fell hard. And by doing that, Batman rose, I feel like. Like Batman rose to the task farther than he maybe would have in the past. Which is just kind of this interesting where it's almost like, oh, it's just this battle of, of kind of good and evil. I don't know. That's very... Philosophical, yeah. but it, ah, it's 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 really cool. I just think that like, you know, I mean, the whole the people turning on Batman, like, I mean, that's it's very possible, mm-hmm. right? It's like, yeah, that's kind of how almost the world kind of works, you know. Especially when you get like a mob, yeah, like, like to put it bluntly, right? Like when you get that big of a group of people, that you know, but. Um, the fact that they didn't, it's the same situation. The boat is kind of the same situation as the people, you know, who possibly could turn on Batman. It's mm-hmm. like, you know, they are in their eyes right, you yeah. know, and, you know, Batman, the criminals, whoever it may be, they think that they need to go, you know. Yeah. But when push comes to shove, they were, whether it was they didn't want to get their hands dirty or whatever, they didn't pull the trigger. Yeah. Which shows something. It shows a bit of resolve, integrity, regardless of whether it's right or wrong. And, you know, of course, I'm thinking like, you know, criminals on the other boat, kids and children or whatever on one boat. It's like, you know, you'd think like a lot of people would be like, guys. Kill the criminals. Obviously. Yeah. But the fact that they didn't shows a little bit of like, Something. Yeah. Right? And so it, it kind of makes me question if Joker truly is right or not, you yeah. know, completely. It's well, kind of like that whole... I wonder, too, if if that, that both of their ideas, right? Like, Batman wants to be the symbol of hope, and he has hope in humanity, I feel like, right? And Joker is like, no, like, like you know, these people are always going to do this kind of thing. They're going to be like But at the end... He he has that like lie which I love where he's like oh this is what happens when an unstoppable force meets a or whatever mm-hmm. uh, unstoppable object whatever like two immovable forces object, collide yeah. yeah yeah immovable object and honestly I I kind of think that's the same with the general idea where it's like yeah there are going to be some horrible people in the world yeah and there will always be the really good people in the world well it's kind and of they're like, always going to clash yeah whether it's Joker and Batman or the people on the boats or whatever like there are going to be those people who try and kill for sure. Uh, yeah, it's just it's that's cool. It is. It's just you know, they both are. Yeah, two sides of the same coin, almost. You know, it's, yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah, I mean, and the Rachel scene, like to get into the the the. I like, freaking knew. I I, <laughs> I was, was like, trying oh not to say gosh, anything because you're like, oh, he like switched it. Yeah, because it's like freaking. I was thinking like because you know I mean. After he pulled what he pulled, 
already. Like, you know, I thought, hey, we got him, you know, but then he's like, oh, you know, something's going on. It's like, oh, no, he's he's you playing. always got to think about him and like how he views the world almost. And it's like he's playing games. Bro. Yeah. So is he is he just going to let it be that straightforward? You yeah, know? of course. You know, it's, you know, <laughs> Batman totally could have saved Rachel, you know, but he's not going to make it that easy. Of course. Right. And in doing so, I think he thought like, you know, because he knows like, OK, obviously um, Harvey is with Rachel, you know, yeah. their thing. But then Batman also kind of like put a certain amount of importance into Rachel, right? Yeah. And then when he found out that Harvey wasn't Batman, then it's like, oh, there's a connection between the actual Batman who isn't Harvey and Rachel. And it's the e- it's like this is the and fine like he's actually a genius. It's evil. Yeah. But the fact that in doing that, whether he he didn't know you know Harvey was gonna burn his face or whatever, but in doing that, but, you know that Harvey will. He, he didn't even know the thing about the cops necessarily. I don't know, but he knows that Harvey will forever hate Batman. Like yeah. if you were saved by Batman instead of Rachel, that's like you was saying when he got him. He's like not me. Like he will always hate him, and so that's yeah. already the. She, it's like. He's going to turn him against him from the beginning because he'll yeah. always resent him for it, whether it was his fault or not. Or, And so it's already like creating this just evil. But just like the the, the movie making of that scene. No. And yeah. her acting where like they're gone out of the room and she's still like, no, it's like it's going to be OK. Like, yeah. It's just. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. Yeah. It's so good in every way. It's just incredible. And I like how it blew up, like, in the middle of her, like, sentence. It makes it more, like, <sighs> it's just brutal. impactful. What no, did you yeah. think of, like, to, to get into a little bit lighter stuff, and then we're going to talk about the Joker at the end, because that deserves a whole. Yeah. Um, what did you think of some of, like, the action and stuff? I mean, the action was <laughs> incredible, bro. First of all, I mean, the fact that it's, all like, a lot, majority of it Majority is, like, of it is practical, practical it's my understanding. It's crazy, um, right? The truck, for sure, I know all that stuff. Like, they flipped a real freaking semi in the That's middle of crazy. Chicago. <laughs> and it's like, oh my gosh. That's just insane. <laughs> and it's just so cool knowing that, you know? Uh, and the hospital thing, like, that blowing up, like, him totally ad-libbing that and, like, playing with the remote and then it That's exploding. That's so good. <laughs> I feel like that's part of it, the Joker conversation. I don't want to get into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just the action was just... It was top notch, you know. It's incredible, dude. I I really like like it's almost um like there are times where like they just the way that they did it, the style. There's a certain aesthetic that sometimes action doesn't get that sort of like stylistic feel to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to take like a little a little part that I really liked was when he did do the um the flipping of the truck. Yeah, the way he did it was very yeah. cool. You know, it's yeah. like. The you way know, his bike flips around. He, they're just, it's not simple, you know? No. They're trying to do things that, like, make it feel not only real, but cool, too. Yeah. And it's it's an awesome sort of, like, you know, marriage between the two that they are able to kind of come up with. I thought it's just insane. It, it just feels and looks real, though, which what I can't get over. Like, you know, the first movie, I, I, honestly, I think is a little bit less uh, grounded than this movie. Um, mm-hmm. And... You could make an argument that it's a better Batman movie. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to make an argument it's a better movie. But you know what I mean? Like, it's a little bit more comic booky. I almost think, in the first movie. You know? Some of the look yeah. of Gotham and stuff like that. Whereas That's this movie, true. it's a little That's bit... That's true. You're right. Um, but, bit. like, the action in this movie is so... It's so grounded. And, yeah. like, the fact that he'll take damage. Like, the, the Batmobile gets blown up and destroyed. Like, I like that. It's realistic. It's like, yeah, RPG does damage against freaking Batman. The fact that they... It's kind of genius that they changed his suit so that there's a little bit of like, hey, man, he could get shot and hurt. And yeah. Things can happen to him. No, for sure. And so it's not just like, you know, his ultimate Iron Man suit or whatever like that. It, It's just really, really cool. No, yeah. And then just, you know, the freaking helicopter his, getting taken. <laughs> his gadgets, too. Just being able to utilize that. You know, all the different things that they kind of implemented his jumping off the freaking building into the other building it's all crazy you know i i i really i really enjoyed the action um and the the set piece choices are really smart like the more i think like that opening set piece with the joker Mm -hmm. taking the bank is insane Mm -hmm. like just the way they open up this huge shot and they see the window blow up and like all of the action scenes are so well planned like the the final one is actually a little bit a little bit weaker um Mm -hmm. 
but like that middle chase scene with the semi like just i don't know it's it's also oh, yeah no definitely my favorite action scene though has got to be when the batmobile just ran straight into that truck <laughs> because it's like you weren't you aren't like you know expecting it because normally there's almost like a build up to it or like you know several cuts or yeah. whatever or some sort of like hesitation but yeah. it was just straight like <laughs> it was like what a tank would do you know it's like oh no we're just going straight <laughs> through like <laughs> that was cra- i did not expect that that was really cool i almost feel like the way the action goes too it feels more like like you know we have our moments where it's like oh batman's be all cool freaking he's got control of the situation yeah. whereas like that scene he he's keeping up but it's different, and you feel that. Yeah. Like, he's like, oh, shoot, ram this guy. I guess I'm going to speed up the Batmobile and barely block this thing. Like, I like it. It feels more like he's getting pushed to his limit. And so then the action feels like that. He's more desperate. Like, I mean, he almost straight up kills Joker. I mean, have a debate about that, but I definitely think he seriously considered it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there's just all these different... I, I like that. I like no, that yeah. element of it where it's like, oh, you see Batman, even in the way he's fighting, getting stretched thin. No, I, I, I really enjoyed the action in this movie. I it was it was superb. <laughs> okay. So what did you think of the Joker? I mean, I definitely see like how people can say like this is their favorite version of the Joker. I yeah. I hundred percent agree. This is I mean he did an awesome job. A, yeah. An awesome job, you know? Yeah. I mean, just acting wise, like even if it wasn't like the Joker or whatever, he, like, frick, the acting like, is insane. so good. It's insane. Yeah. And I like I don't know, you know, I I don't know like tons of versions of Joker, how the Joker's supposed yeah, so to be. So you don't have right? a ton of no, yeah. But like I, f- like my feeling is like yeah, th- I feel like this is this is like the original Joker almost. <laughs> it feels like that or something. Yes. Well, you it's know? also like in this universe, whether it's the least accurate, like. You know, you can yeah, take no it up idea. with this take on Batman and this take mm-hmm. on Joker. But in this universe, in this take on Batman, to me, that is the perfect take on Joker. Yeah. Right? Like, of course, you could definitely have a debate about whether it's a good take on Batman. I'm not yeah. a comic book fan. I think a lot of comic book fans agree, though, that's a good take. But, you know, let us know in the comments. Um, but regardless. in this world, it's like, that's exactly what it is. We get this cool Batman. It's like, all right, he's a little bit comic book. be a little grounded. And then it's like, oh, wow, that that is the person that would be your your nemesis. Like, that is yeah, that Joker. is It's perfect to kind of like you know, fit in with um, Nolan's sort of, like, take on the Batman. It, it's a perfect fit, you know. It, he doesn't feel out of place at all. Yeah. It's awesome. You know, it's, like, it's very real, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit, um, you know, just the fact that they aren't, like, super surprised at, like, you know, him, how he, like, wears stuff and whatever. It's not like, you know, in this world, it's like, whoa you know like yeah, 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 yeah it's more like they understand you know they're they're a little more like used to that sort of stuff but it's still like grounded or realistic you well, know? they had some crazy stuff um because i got like really into and i may actually get some of these facts wrong but to my understanding heath ledger did most of that so he was like okay he bought the clothes and brought in or i think he helped them choose the clothes to make sure it was like grounded and like the makeup was one of the things that he made a point where he he they didn't have team and that's why when you look at it it looks like this freaking crazy psycho put makeup on and yeah. it gets screwed up and messed up and worse throughout the movie yeah and it was like one of the big things he was like no i'm going to do the makeup yeah because it gives you this like you can see it you can see it smudge you can see it gives a super grounded feel to it yeah i mean it, he just feels you know, like, it's not try hard. He's, no. He truly does feel like, you know, like some sort of a psychopath. Psychopath. Yeah. Or whatnot. It's, it, it was, yeah. I mean, it, it was just awesome. Yeah. Um, the and then, is... no, the acting, of course, clean. Yeah. It just is his design, like we said, the way he looks. I, I think it's just perfect for the world. Um, his sort of, um, the stuff that he says is very it's like interesting. sadistic. <laughs> no, yeah, definitely. Um, and it's interesting because it's not. Now, when he was talking about his sort of like a little bit, that I feel like they were kind of hinting as to for what the backstory is or what mm-hmm. it could be. Yeah. Was he saying that? So we had a little bit about his dad. Yeah. So to my understanding, actually, 
Now, there are, there are different versions of the Joker because they've rebooted comics a billion times. But mm-hmm. the the kind of standard, what we know as, as the Joker, mm-hmm. doesn't have an origin. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't know where he came from. We don't know how he became who he became. Like I said, there are stories that tell the origin, but to my understanding, the kind of classic Joker doesn't. Um, and so I think they were kind of messing with that. Because you first hear it, and you're like, oh, that's cool. Like the first time he asks uh, whatever the, the gangster guy... Like, oh, you know, you know where I got these scars. You want to know how I got these scars. Yeah. But then he does the same thing to Rachel and tells a completely different story. Which is interesting. I think it almost, not only does it like kind of like solidify the, oh, you know, we're not telling you outright what his backstory it, is. It could be whatnot. true or it, it could be him screwing with the person. Or it could be him just actually being, you know, his crazy self. Yeah. So I like, I don't know. Because if you think about what he says to the different people, it does apply. To the different people, a little like I mean, I'm sure people have theorized over this for a billion years. Yeah, but like it does the the fact that he talks about his wife and how much he loved her to Rachel. Like he's he's completely screwing with the people. Yeah. Um, so it's it's it is weird. I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm sure there are some people who are like, oh, it is true, partly or whatever. I I don't know, and I like that. I like that about him, where it's like, yeah, we just don't know. Yeah, that is interesting. No, but I like the fact that it makes it him seem a lot more. Um, it's weird because it feels a lot more unstable, but also for some reason it also feels controlled. I know that's like um, it, it's very contradictory, but mm-hmm. like the fact that he um, tells different story, the two different stories, makes it feel like oh, he's just freaking you know crazy or whatnot. But also the fact that he won't. It's like you he doesn't want to. Sh- show who he is or where he came from is like almost it shows a sense a source of like control you know, yeah well i mean if you look at everything himself. he does in the movie he's smart which is why i like it's not just like he's a total maniac who's like super strong or super powerful it's like no no he's he is a criminal mastermind like he's a well, genius it's almost like this it's almost like a facade of chaotic evil on the top with a slice of true mastermind Mm -hmm. but the true mastermind's goal is chaotic evil in the end yeah like i actually think the only scene he was being honest and like i said this is kind of just my watching the movie is when he's talking to harvey i really do think when he's like i'm like a dog chasing cars yeah i i wouldn't know what to do if i got one and i really do think he's he means that it's like, yeah, obviously he's gonna, you know, have a way to do it in a strategy, uh-huh. but he he doesn't know what he's gonna do when he beats Batman. He he's having fun. He's an agent of chaos. Like, well, of course, I don't think he ever wants to truly beat Batman. He is just, you know, he's he doesn't really have like a a true like purpose or whatnot. You know, something that he wants to achieve or yeah, I don't know. Right? It's not like he has like a. I a think he kind of does kind of want to beat Batman. Yeah? In this weird way. Now, I don't think he wants to necessarily kill Batman, but, like, he wanted Batman to hit him. Because he wins. If he yeah, dies, if Batman true. kills him, he wins. And I think that is what it is. It's not necessarily he wants to kill him, of course. But, but I, I do think he wants to... It's like there's a there's a thrill to the game for him. But the way that he was speaking at the end, I feel that he... <laughs> He knows that Batman won't ever kill him. That's true. That's and true. And so he's will always kind of, they will always be fighting each other, right? Because yeah. there's no way, like you said, there's like an unstoppable force and an immovable object. Nothing will ever happen. Yeah. But it's all, he's just enjoying the game of it, you know? Yeah. Which is, it's just interesting to see that. Which is kind of odd that I feel like he has a little bit of an arc. Not like a full character. That's not fair. But to see him kind of grow maybe I, i'm making a lot of disagreement in the comments this is just a discussion for feel for sure feel free to join in Actually, um, elaborate a little bit yeah I'm trying like to... like i i do think he's gonna get like he wants batman to break his rule and i think he does believe that he can get batman to break his rule and get okay, batman to fall yeah. and i think he doesn't it's not until the end that he really is like oh okay i guess this is what happens when uh you know, when, when we are the two formidable characters clash. I don't think he knows that going in. I don't think it's like a, you know, let me find out. But I do think there's a part of him that learns that. Like, he doesn't, 
He doesn't think anyone will do that. He he believes what he did with Harvey. He's he's a manipulator. He's screwing around with people, and he kind of has these weird beliefs that are kind of dark about society. And I I do think he has he has no he's not like shocked when those don't come. Like he he has contingencies, right? He has yes. the detonator himself. But I do think he might have thought he could get Batman to break his rule. I mean, he was wrong before. He did think that Harvey... He himself stated that he thought Harvey was Batman, right? Yeah. And so that's very possible that he, you know, probably thought the entire beginning was like, oh, uh, you know, he says that he won't kill me. I'm going to make him do it. Yeah. But then, yeah, towards the end, it's like... But it's interesting to see him kind of accept that it's almost like... It's more of a challenge now, which is why it's, like, such a genius end, like, hearing his just horrible cackle, like, upside down. Um, but it's almost like, oh, I guess you won't. Well, now I want to try harder. Like, it is, it's, a, it's that, like, realization of how well, I feel perfect like, this challenge is, kind of, it's just, yeah. Yeah, he kind of, well, in, at least a part of him enjoys, I feel like, um, trying to bring the people who think they are good moral people down yeah. right and to sh- almost show them that they are they or at least they have the potential to be yeah. as bad as you know i don't know him but like as other people right yeah um uh, but yeah I what did you like, think of the laugh that's a thing that because everybody's like joker has an iconic laugh right uh okay so i <laughs> i didn't even I don't even know what the iconic kind of laugh is. I don't either. I'm just saying, like, the character of Joker has an iconic. Um, I thought his laugh was definitely unique. Okay. I I thought it was, like, bone chilling. Like, it's freaky. Yeah, and almost, um, I remember when he was uh, walking in on the mob of bosses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He almost made a parody of himself, Yeah, you know? It was, which is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's so there's so much nuance. Like I know we're ranting, but it's like guys, come on, it's like one of the greatest performances of all time. Um, like the video, and I saw you freak out when it happened, where he's like, "Look at me," and then he just like growls it. Like there are moments like that that I love too, where it's like, "Oh yeah, he's a manipulator, and he he's not like physically strong." And there are these moments where he'll say lines, like when he's talking to the gangster right before he kills him, where like you hear Heath Ledger go into this deeper register, and it is terrifying. In this just incredible way yeah like you feel it as an audience member and i love that where it's like that just adds to the unpredictability of it where it's like yeah, yeah. he's playing his games and it's like oh my gosh and you just get like a peak of like the monster i, I don't know it's, yeah it's, the monster it's almost like because it you know it's one of those things where it's like he's not faking who he is on top completely it's not a thing where like oh you know he's wearing a mask and like no no no, there's, no. you know it's not him no he is you know that is truly him but it's almost like there's also like there's something else fueling well it's him. like just because he's not just because he's having fun doesn't mean he's not like he's not gonna kill you like it's not gonna be like and i think it's yeah. almost that where it's like oh you got a little too comfortable like no but honestly it feels almost like um you know that for example if one of those stories is true yeah um there is something fueling that like or making him kind of like this you know yeah you know almost like it's not like there's something underneath trying to get out it's like that something underneath is is prolonging this state of him yeah and you know when he you know unpredictably like lets that whatever come out it makes it it's it's very it feels a little more um like there's that contrast between his more, you know, happy go lucky casual self and his like almost aggressive selfish self, you know? Yeah. yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, um yeah, it's 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 super sad. Like he he also if anybody doesn't know this, I do because I like looked into all this. So uh-huh. common misconception is that he committed suicide, which is not I mean, obviously, we'll never know, but there's a really good chance he didn't. Uh, Heath Ledger had, like, sleeping problems. A lot of his family members said it wasn't at all looking. Like, everybody always likes to be like, oh, the Joker character got to him. Um, You know, because he did stuff. He stayed in hotels for weeks at a time to get in character and stuff like that. But 
you know, I do think it's important to be like, you know, as far as we know, his family members and everybody else who was in contact with him was like, ah, he was great. He loved the role. He was super excited about it. He took one too many sleeping pills. It's not, I don't know. I think it's a little unfair to represent it as like, oh, he did a drug overdose to commit suicide. And so yeah, I don't know. It, I yeah, like, I get it. It I does like feel that out there. Um, because it does feel a little like you're trying to you know, like romanticize it and make it feel a little like, oh, it's because he like got too into his role. And it, yeah, you know, know it, like we don't know. I just I, mean, I like I putting it, that out there. And but, be like, look, man, I, I don't know. Actors are actors. That's what they do for a job. Yeah. Um, he won an Oscar for the role. It's the only oh. superhero movie that's ever, or superhero character I think that's ever won an Oscar. Dang. Okay. Um, so he got it posthumously, obviously. So you well, know, I mean, he deserves. Of it, course, bro. like that was like actually, like not even just because of the circumstances. So that that happened. Um, yeah, I mean, it's obviously that the tragedy of it is that it's like this absolute genius, and also on a more superficial level, the man probably would have like, he probably would have got another movie with Joker he probably would have become you know this even, gigantic actor for all time and he yeah. wouldn't even see the performance like he didn't even get to it's, see it it's so sad that he didn't get to kind of like live out a, a sort of um, you know a life of like you know su- not success but how should I say like I'm not talking monetary success but like almost no, his but own like, just to be able to see that to be able to be yeah. recognized for like the genius this is a genius acting performance but I mean I mean, even still, I, I'm glad that he was able to do this. Yeah. yeah. To show, like, almost like what he could have done and what he did do, right? Yeah. And I, it'll forever be... It's like one of the greatest performances of all time, superhero or no. One of the greatest movies of all time, superhero or no. It's like, yeah. You know, this is forever in in the record, in oh, the yeah. legend, however you want to put it. Um, oh, so, yeah. Sure. Obviously, you know, rest in peace, Heath Ledger. Um and you know, thank you for watching guys thank you for joining us um, as always full length reaction is going to be up on our Patreon if you guys want to go check that out next week's reaction same thing um, we're watching The Dark Knight Rises continuing a little bit of our our Nolan binge um, with these Batman movies and then obviously other Nolan movies are going to be polls every week so get hyped about that and yeah um, thank you for being here thank you for watching if you're new here welcome um, hopefully you stick around like and subscribe we got lots of superhero movies coming we got lots more serious stuff if you like that just literally tons of stuff There's tons of stuff coming tons of stuff we've watched feel free to stick around um, watch some stuff hang out with us and if you do we will see you all in the next video